Welcome! You're listening to Making Relationships Work. We're a company focused on women and their marriage. We lead and teach women just like you how to grow into and access, whenever you need to, your wise woman self. The part of you who is deeply connected to your purpose, your innate wisdom and your husband and family. We teach women in marriages how to rebuild trust and connection, to work through conflicts, no matter how deep, no matter how painful, and to lead your marriage to a place where the two of you experience marriage mastery. This podcast is about learning the systems and techniques that truly work to reconnect you back into your marriage so that you can experience the freedom that comes with a masterful marriage. Since this podcast is totally free, if you're getting tons of value and you want to support us and make sure that you get more of this good stuff, subscribe below and rate and review our podcast today. Now, on to the show. Well, hi, everybody. Hi, Women Making Marriages Work. Hello, Making Relationships Work podcast, YouTube You know, I wasn't going to be able to go live tonight. I had lots of reasons why this wasn't going to work. And yet here I am. It has all fallen into place. So I can't help but think that must be because someone out there really needs to hear the conversation I'm about to have with you. And so my friends, it's a big day for me today. I've got one of my client calls in a minute and I'm going to be on that call with 30 or so women, and we're going to have some big conversations. And as I was preparing for that call, I was answering some emails, and these emails were also from my clients, and there was a bit of a theme in there in my inbox today. And that's what's prompted this Facebook Live, because the theme of what was in there was how who I am is impacting on my marriage. And the very act of answering that question or doing that reflection occurred to me that it's probably time for you and I to talk about how you are and how that's impacting your marriage. Because how we become who we are is a series of decisions. It's a series of daily, minute by minute, moment by moment decisions. And those decisions build up what we call kind of a temperament. And if we stay in that energy, it eventually becomes a personality. And so how do we go from mood to temperament to personality? And then when we get to personality, we say, well, that's just who I am. But actually, we built who we are. We just built it a long time ago. And what I'm curious about in this conversation that we're having today is who built you? Did you build you? There's my alarms. Did Did you build you or did somebody else build you? Very often our parents, our family of origin, our primary caregivers, um, our schools, our important people, our friends, our family have input in the molding of who we are and in that input sometimes they put themselves in us sometimes that's good sometimes they put themselves in us sometimes that's not so good sometimes they try and put another part in us that's not them because they think that's better for us but essentially those things that stick with us that we got from a long time ago that aren't serving us, we put them in there and if we want to, we can take them out. And so as I was working through my to-do list, my email list this evening, I noticed, I noticed a lot of things. I noticed that there were reflections on what someone's mum was like what someone's dad was like, what the culture in the family was like. And so the women that are watching this, you have a culture and a family that you're leading right now. And you come from a culture and a family that you were led by. And I wonder how similar your leadership is to your parents or how different it is. And I wonder what level of consciousness you've put on that. 
And I wonder whether you give yourself permission to change the bits that aren't working for you. And I wonder whether you give yourself permission to keep the bits that are. Because this conversation that we're having tonight is not something that mainstream people have. And yet, is there an, a more important conversation? So remember at the beginning of this live, I talked to you about how we have a mood. And if we stay in that mood, it becomes known as a temperament. If we stay in that temperament, it becomes our personality. And we say, well, people can't change. Personalities don't change. But those personalities, those learned experiences, that temperament, that mood, those things can all be shifted, nudged, rewritten recreated, redefined, so that they do serve us, so that they serve us as a human, but also in the roles that we play, parenting, wifing, loving, friending, working. Yeah? And so tonight, I want to talk about not whether it's possible to change, because my position is that, of course, it is possible. It's not only possible, it's required of you in your life. So I want to work with you in that space to know that we really need you to notice the bits that aren't working, the bits that you kind of inherited and that you haven't questioned, or the bits that you built to defend yourself when you were vulnerable as a younger person and that are now actively in play, but you're safe and you don't actually need those defenders anymore. And it's time to build a new way of interacting because you learned to be yourself. You learned it from yourself. You learned it from all the mirrors in your environment and you learned it to survive. And so now I say to you, if you learned all of that, you can easily say to yourself, this bit's working, this bit's not. This bit's not working, this bit is. I'm keeping this bit, I'm changing that bit. And when you realize that you have that choice, that choice, then all that becomes is a decision to do it differently. So if there's a part of you that's showing up in your marriage and it's not working, maybe you're too needy, Maybe you're a pursuer and you follow your husband everywhere until he tries to give you what he thinks you need. Maybe you are an avoider or a stonewaller. Maybe you hate having difficult conversations. Those things are all learned responses to things that happened to you before you got to here. So you might need some skill set upgrades. The masterclass will help. There's a link in my text above this conversation. You might need some skill set upgrades, but can you decide to respond differently? Yes. It's imperative that you do because that allows you to reach into your human potential, your growth, your opportunity for this life. So we're not talking about whether or not you can change. We're talking about do you want to commit to changing? And that's a different conversation entirely, isn't it? And so most people don't because they're fearful. They're fearful of getting to know the deepest part of themselves. And if that's not palatable, if that's not glossy or shiny, then that might hurt a bit. So let's not do that. But those parts of you are actually the most interesting, I think. They're the most valuable, they have the most learning, they have the most opportunity for transformation and self-compassion and learning how to love who you are. And so I say to you, my darlings, hi Thomasina, I say to you, what's not to gain in questioning how you got yourself to here? And what's not to gain from deciding to grow and stretch and heal the parts of you that are hurting your marriage, hurting your life, hurting your kids, hurting your career, hurting your family of origin. What you get to do 
is influence and change and grow who you are. So yeah, you might need a skill set upgrade. Yes, you might find that it hurts a bit or a lot. But you know what's on the other side of that pain? Muscle, a muscle of transformation, the sense of pride and accomplishment, the sense of knowing that you kind of figure that bit out and it won't be a problem again. Yes. And then the gift flows through your marriage, flows through your children, flows through your family of origin because you are upgraded because you decided to do that work. And so, my love, you will need new skills. That's okay. Watch the masterclass. You will run into bits that hurt. That's okay. That's where the, the pain is just showing you what's important. Yeah? You don't run away from pain. You go towards it to figure out what's the learning here. When you've got that, you make the decision. I'm going to do it differently. When you've got that, you've got everything. And no one can take away an upgrade that you do yourself. No one can, only you. And if you want some help with this, I'd love to help you. Watch the masterclass. Feel free to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to get you really clear on what's not working, what your upgrade is, and let's then map the skill set you're going to need to grow in order to do that. Friends, it's been a joy dropping in tonight when I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it. I'm so glad I could. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. I'll see you back here next week. Have a think about this. Have a think about where you learned to be yourself. Have a think about what's not working for you. Have a think about where you might have got that from and why you built that part of you to survive. Remember that a mood becomes a temperament, becomes personality, which means you can undo a lot of that. You can rewrite a lot of that. And the core of who you are is wonderful anyway. We're just undoing the prickly, bouncy, bitey, nasty bits. And humans have those bits. And that's okay. But it's not okay to leave them and not to grow them or tend to them or heal them or look after them or love them. And that's the work that you can do. This work relies on you making the decision to change. And your commitment to growing yourself needs new skills. And you can watch my masterclass to get those skills. And you can book a call, a free call with me and my team to assess what that is. And then you get to claim your life. You get to claim that piece of power that lies inside your pain and you get to transform it. And you get to grow into the exact person you're meant to be. And imagine the gifts that gives your marriage, your friendships, your children, your work, your family of origin. My goodness. And so my loves, it's time for me to go. I'll see you soon. You're very wonderful. Don't forget that. Much love to you. Bye, darlings. Thank you for tuning into today's show. If you're feeling fired up and you're ready to grow and you want to know more about how to do that, here is what I want you to do now. I want you to watch my marriage masterclass. This masterclass will show you how my clients have turned their struggling marriages into thriving marriages, even without their husband's buy-in. How my clients have gone from cycles of poor communication, disconnect and loneliness to being teammates and soulmates with their husbands again, even after they've already tried everything. And the proven system my clients use to start transforming their marriages in minutes, not years, because life is too precious to waste one more minute in an unhappy and unfulfilling marriage. So if this is what you're looking for, I want you to click the link below and take a 